here, I'm going uh, I'm going lead oxide. Uh, the biggest thing that you want to do is make sure your airline's hooked up. Uh, the flow's really, you know, there's your air valve. And uh, you just want to make sure everything's sealed, all your seals are good. Um, that way you don't get any leaking or anything like that. Make sure your gauge is running around about 15 a PSI for tank pressure. And it's about the same, you want the same for line air. So you can see running consistently. Um, and uh, just want to make sure that everything's looking good there. Um, everything's flowing nice. The tanks can only hold this amount here at this location. Um, the rear tank, same thing. Um, they're gonna flow very nice. Um, this one will actually empty out a lot quicker than the front one, just because the uh, difference in the length of the hose is only going to there. So um, with that, it will unload a lot quicker. Again, 15 psi. Um, just want to make sure that these. Uh, Really fouls here are closed before you start or you're going to have a big old mess uh, coming out of these tanks. So, again, it's just, you know, make sure you do the same steps day in and day out and uh, whatnot. Um, you want to be able to um, be safe. Um, the other day I had a crack in one of the seals and uh, made a little bit of a mess that I had to clean up. So, again, just you want to make sure you got everything dotted and crossed. And, uh, but today, thankfully, everything is running really smooth and you didn't get emptied out. So, uh, again, this is lead oxide, very heavy, so it takes a long time to unload. Usually up to four, four and a half, five hours. Sometimes you can get done quicker. Just depends on how everything flows. But, again, lead oxide. Um, for your respirator and all that fun stuff. So if you have any questions, hit me up.